Historically, one of the most important listings of hills within Britain is that too, the 2,000 foot mountains of England and the 2,000 foot mountains of Wales. Now for this introductory clip, we're dealing with hills that have a minimum prominence or a minimum reascent of 50 foot. The person that first listed these mountains was Arthur St George Walsh in the late 1920s. Arthur went on to visit every summit on his list, thus becoming the third known person to complete a full round of all the 2,000 footers in England and Wales. He was superseded by Ted Moss, the first person, and the second person was Clem Clements. Now, only part of Arthur's list was ever published, and that appeared in the 1950 Wayfarer's Journal. And that was only part, a very detailed part, to a Pennine section. Now, in more recent years, uh, this category of mountain has become associated with a married couple who live in Congleton, John and Anne Nuttall. In 1989, they had a guidebook with accompanying hill list published by Cicero and Press entitled The Mountains of England and Wales, Volume 1, Wales. The following year, uh, Cicero and Press published uh, a guidebook with the same accompanying hill list entitled The Mountains of England and Wales, Volume 2, England. The original totals for each country were 181 mountains for Wales and 251 mountains for England. In more recent years, uh, the Nuttalls have brought the prominence or reascent criteria down to the nearest whole numbered metric equivalent of 50 foot, which is 15 metres. Now, with more, um, with more recent and accurate surveying, the totals for each country now stand at 190 mountains for Wales and 253 mountains for England. And this is the category of mountain that we go out to survey for and they are known as the Nuttalls.